Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial. My name is Agnes and today we are going to be making this easiest bikini top. So it is adjustable at the bottom. You can adjust your coverage, less coverage or more coverage, depends on how you're feeling that day. And it really takes a very short time to make. Less than an hour, you'll be done if you are quick at crocheting. And all you will need is your under breast to nipple measurements and you'll be good to go. So I'll be having this bikini bottom tutorial ne uh, in the next few days. So please check it out. And we let's go into the video. So I'll be using a, a needle if you this is very optional. I'll be using scissors, a 2.5 millimeter hook. I love to use uh, smaller hooks because you know it doesn't give this uh, make this a see-through. I will using tape measure and uh, for the yarn this is brand Winter King Kenyan. Uh, it's acrylic, 100% acrylic. It is medium weight yarn. So if you have any medium weight yarn, you should be good to go. All right, so let's get into it. So first we'll do the, the, the rack ups, right? And we'll, it has this shell around, right? So we'll start with the foundation uh, row which is a measurement of your under nipple, uh, sorry, under breast to nipple. And then we'll just go around with rows, then do the shell uh, stitches later on. Okay, so let's start. All right, so to begin, you are going to make a foundation chain. And this is from your measurements from under breast to nipple. Mine is three inches. So that is what I'll be working with. Chain. I'm going to chain 15 chains, 15 chains, okay so when I t measure this, this should be 3 inches long, So we'll be using double crochet, half double crochet. So add two chains, one and two. Then we are going to make a half double crochet. So skip the first two chains, yarn over. Skip the first two chains. And into the third chain from the hook, make a half double crochet. Go into the next chain, make a half double crochet. And we are going to work half double crochets in every chain until we have 15 half double crochets. So my 15 half double crochets are an equivalent of three inches. All right, so those are my 15 uh, half double crochets, okay? So you are now going to row two, so chain two. Turn your work. And in that very first stitch, right, the one with a chain two, okay? That same one with a chain two, make a half double crochet. It's in that same very that very same stitch with a uh, chain two. So go into the next stitch and make a half double crochet. And you are going to make half double crochets until you have a total of fifteen or whatever number you had on your foundation row. Okay. So I'll do this until I have fifteen. So okay, I have my fifteen half double crochets, right? So there's this chain two that we made for on first row. So go into that chain two and make two half double crochets, right? And then you're going to chain one, go into that same chain space and make two more half double crochets. So we have two double crochets, chain one, then two half double crochets, okay? Then you are now going to go on top of that very first uh, half double crochet on the other side and make a half double crochet. So you're going to make half double crochets in every stitch until you get to the bottom with a total number of 15. 
so we have 15 on one side 15 on another side okay so this is how it looks like right 15 on one side 15 on another side and at the top we have four right so you are going to chain two then turn your work since we added two and in this very first chain two you are going to make a half double crochet that very same space with a chain two that's why you make a half double crochet okay so you're going to make a half double crochet in every stitch and since at the top we had added two chains so i mean two half double crochets right there so you are going to make a total of 17 half double crochets okay 17 half double crochets all right so i have my 17 half double crochets and in that chain space one chain space i'm going to make two half double crochets so that makes it 19 then chain one and in that same chain space make two half double crochets and go on the other side and make a total of 17 half double crochets so that will make it 19 on one side and 19 on the other side divide um, in between there is just that one chain chain one okay so for every row we are increasing by two at the top then chain one then increase two in that chain space okay And that's going to be my last one. All right, so this is going to be the pattern. So chain two, and in that very first uh, stitch right there, with the chain two, you are going to make a half double crochet. Make half double crochet in every stitch. You'll be increasing uh, four at the top, right? two on one side chain one then two on the other side for every row and i will meet you once i'm done so this is how it looks like my foundation chain and my foundation row and then i did six on one side and six on the other side so it's a total number of seven rows it's one two three four five six seven so it's a total number of seven rows right that's my bra cup and that fits a size small okay and this is an equivalent of about 4.2 inches yeah so this is for a size small and we are now going to do the edging so chain one in that very first row make a single crochet go at the top of the row right there make a single crochet go into the next row make a single crochet at the top of that row make a single crochet so it's two single crochets in every row i had a total number of uh, six plus six that's 12 13 i had a total number of 13 uh, of these rows when you count from one side to the other side and that should make a total number of 26 single crochets so I'm going to do single crochets until you get to the end of this so it's two in every row in rows so that's 26 all right so i'm done with my single crochets and we are now going to work on the shell edging all around okay so you're going to chain one and skip the first two stitches so on top of that very first stitch and then second stitch right and then go into the third stitch skip two go into the third stitch and make a double crochet so we are now working with double crochets in that very same stitch make a second double crochet 
into the same stitch make your third double crochet and then you're going to chain one and go into the same stitch and make one two three double crochets so we have a total of six double crochets in that same stitch okay then skip the next two stitches into the third stitch you are going to make a slip stitch like that then skip the next two stitches and into the next third stitch you are going to make another shell so make a double crochet second double crochet and a third double crochet in that very same stitch then chain one and make three more double crochets in that very same stitch so that's another shell so you're going to skip two and slip stitch in the third stitch one, two and then you go into the third one and make a slip stitch so you're going to repeat this pattern okay shell until you get to the top so skip two go into the third stitch and make a shell repeat this and i'll meet you once you're at the top so i'm at the top and i have that one stitch to go right so i'm going to just use slip stitch in that last one and then we are now going to make the bra strap so i'm going to make chains enough to go around you know to tie because we are tie tying around the neck and i will make 60. all right so i'm done with my 60 chains and this is how it looks okay so we are now going to go down with the half double crochet so chain two skip two and in the third chain make a half double crochet go into the second chain make a half double crochet third chain make a half double crochet and you are going to make half double crochets in every chain until you get to the bottom and i will see you once you are at the bottom all right so i'm done with my half double crochets and we are going to skip that chain one right going to our last uh, half double crochet right there and make a slip stitch so we have our strap right okay so where we had a slip stitch we are going to make a second slip stitch right and now we are going to make a shell so skip two and in the third one make a double crochet in the same stitch make a double crochet and a third double crochet then chain one and make three double crochets in the same stitch so this side should match the other side uh, that we just finished okay so it's the same number of stitches you should have the same pattern so skip two in the third make a slip stitch then skip two and in the third one make another shell and you're going to repeat the same pattern you should have the same number of shells on both sides and i'll see you once you're at the bottom so that we do the bottom shells it will be slightly different all right so i'm done with my shells i have four shells on the one side and four shells on the other side and we are now going to do the bottom so we are going to chain one and two right then yarn over and we are now going to skip three stitches instead of two so in the fourth stitch make a double crochet go into the same stitch make a second double crochet and the third one then we are now going to chain two right and skip three so i mean sorry we're going to the same uh, stitch and make three double crochets to complete our shell so we have our shell and this is how it looks like so you are going to skip three stitches one two three and into the fourth one you are going to make a single crochet so instead of a slip stitch you will make a single crochet right so that we have enough space where to pass our strap our chain sorry so skip three and make another shell one two three and then chain two 
and then insert three uh, sorry double crochets in that very same stitch so you are going to repeat the pattern and I will have a total of three shells at the bottom okay so you're going to skip two and then in the fourth one make a single crochet then skip two I mean skip three and make a shell and that will be a last one so make a slip stitch and chain one then cut off your yarn you will sew in so in the ends later so we have our first bra cup this is how it looks you can make the coverage to your size i only made seven rows go ahead and make another bra cup and i will meet you once you have both two bra cups so that we have the bottom all right so we are now going to make the bottom chain that is our straps that tie uh, below our, our, our breasts till to the back right so i'm going to make my yarn uh, two strands so that it is a bit strong then make a foundation chain sorry a slip knot and make chains so i'm just going to make chains enough to wrap around uh, my till my back end so that I can I be able to tie it uh, do the same and I'll see once you're done all right so let's put our chain in this is how it looks and we are going to go into that space right there the side pull through like that then go into the next chain space sorry the next space that we left in between the chain one there i mean the single crochets and this is how we are going to do in and out in and out the shell is at the top of the chain as you can see so go in and out in every uh, space And once you go to the other side, you are going to connect the other bra cup too. So this is how it will make this adjustable. You can make it more sexy or less sexy according to how much coverage you want to show or cleavage. So yeah, so go in and out in every space. yeah and uh, our last one on this side so this you will be tying at the back and this is how it looks like you can adjust it in whichever way you want less coverage more coverage whatever you desire all right so this is it guys um this is very simple to make i hope you loved it so thank you so much for watching subscribe share uh, leave a comment like and i will see you in my next video bye